for indications where immobilization of the wrist is required, for example, distal fractures of radius and ulna. Before the start of application, define the position of the limb. The wrist should be in slight dorsal flexion and neutral ulnar radial deviation or slight supination. This will give the patient an indication of which position he has to maintain the limb. Take double thumb length of 2.5 cm or 1 inch width of stockinette and cut. Then choose the appropriate width of stockinette for the arm. Measure the length from elbow to fingers. Add another 15 cm or 6 inches then double this length and cut. Pick up the thumb stockinette, make a cut into the piece and slide it over the thumb. Roll up the arm stockinette before applying onto the limb to prevent sliding pressure during application. Roll off over the arm. At wrist height, make a cut into the piece. Insert thumb through the hole and roll back down. Make a small cut close to the distal side of the index finger. Cut the thumb stockinette about halfway down the thumb. Use additional padding to cover any bony prominences. Now apply one roll of padding starting at the distal side of the arm. Go through the web space twice and work an approximate overlap of 50%. Fold over the thumb stockinette to create a soft edge of the thumb area and smooth down. It's recommended to wear protective gloves before applying the plaster of Paris cast. Select appropriate width of the plaster of Paris bandage. Dip the bandage in cool water and let it soak. Remove from water, let it drip and then gently squeeze to drain away any surplus water. Going distally, start applying the plaster of Paris bandage from the wrist. Make a cut at the thumb to easily pass through the web space. Do this twice. Apply with 50% overlap towards elbow and cut. Fold back the stockinette at the proximal end, creating a protective cuff and soft edges. Take one more bandage of plaster of Paris and apply in the same way as previously, but starting from the proximal end. over the remaining stockinette. Smooth it down with the palm of your hands, moulding the cast at the same time, making sure the wrist is kept in the right position. Cut off the remaining stockinette at the proximal end. After approximately three to five minutes, the cast is set and the patient can be released. The cast is fully set after 24 hours.